So difficult. There we go. Alright, so to point out to people, uh, no animals were harmed during the filming <laughs> of this video, but we did smudge a lens, so we have to clean it up. But it's a great opportunity to show how we do that. Usually we would do this in a clean room or something, but we'll do it we'll do it rough and rugged right here. Yeah. Okay, so we've taken out that's the only part we need to get to. Get any debris off of there. And I'm out of acetone. <laughs> it already evaporated. So we'll just use the uh, other stuff here. All right. These are really uh, high quality lenses in here. Obviously. Oh yeah. Yeah, I believe they're uh, upwards of a couple thousand, I think. But the the lens protector is. Uh, nothing compared to what those are. And I don't have the acetone to dry out the rest of the solution. Yeah. Unfortunately. I didn't fill it. Usually you just drop a, one drop of acetone and it, it, it evaporates all the, all the rest of the um, all the rest of the uh, solution. Oh yeah. That's pretty clean for here. The back side wasn't dirty, so. It looks good to me. Usually I line the notch up here with the back of the oh, yeah. lens. Just like that. There he goes. Okay. Now we're gonna do the centering as well. Every time you take out the lens, you you would uh, need to center the nozzle towards uh, uh, with a, a tape shot, and I'll show you how to do that as well. Okay. So now we're gonna run a tape shot. So you just, um, I believe, hold on, do we have a 1.4? So pick the smallest diameter nozzle. So we're gonna look for concentricity of the laser beam and the outside of the nozzle. So um, you get the smallest, here we go, 1.2. 1 The nozzle's pretty rough, hopefully it works. Really interesting, those are really important and uh, fairly delicate parts and yet you can move around pretty easily. Oh, the, oh, the, the lens and the whatnot? Yeah, it's it's pretty rigid. Everything's rigid on this machine, which is um, which is good. And and, and uh, the maintenance for that for the for the whole head is pretty easy too. So yeah, the cleaning process. Yeah, it's. I mean, although I didn't clean it properly with acetone, or yeah, I was just really quick. But um, yeah. But anyways, we'll. Uh, but it was a good demo of here's what you need to do. Exactly. Yeah. Just like that. Okay, so you put a piece of tape. Piece on of the tape, and then you fold on one piece of the tape on one side, uh, indicating the direction of what neural knob you need to uh, twist. 
So I'm just gonna run it here. It's gonna just gonna do a quick shot. That's all you need. And then you open it up. Pull out the piece of tape. Get your spyglass. And then now you now you're looking. That's pretty rough. I'm gonna switch the I'm gonna switch the nozzle to a 1.4 because this nozzle is pretty rough. So it was um, I couldn't I couldn't indicate the concentricity. I think I uh, I just bought my old, brought my old used nozzles, so some are pretty banged up. Oh, okay. Now, for example, this one's all scratched up, so I couldn't, I couldn't indicate the outside of the, outside of the, um, of the nozzle. So I'm just gonna put one cleaner one in here, and I'll do the same, same thing over again. There we go. And the tape, yeah. I'll, I'll, you, maybe, maybe you can see. I'll, I'll let you maybe see if you can get it, uh, get a shot of the of oh, through right. here, yeah, yeah. so you can see what I'm looking for. focus in, of that in there. Try to zoom in a little, try to get your camera up closer maybe uh, to the, there you go. See that? Oh, yeah. So you're looking for the, the pierce. Okay. If you aim it towards the light, maybe you can uh, see a little bit. You can see it, there you go. Yeah, so you're looking at the concentricity of, uh, of, the, of the pierce compared to the, uh, the, the nozzle uh, diameter. So um, if it's off, which it, it's it's there, it's good. Even though, even though we took out the the lens. In other words, how centered is it? It's centered, yeah, it's yeah. centered. So we're ready to go again. Yeah.